gentlemen and my dear students. Today, UEW is also on the landmark. UEW has dedicated itself to progressive development. And for that matter, management has committed itself to ensuring a very conducive environment for academic work. And as you all know, the most critical items of livelihood is food, shelter, and clothing. And any three of these is an they are essential items for any life worth living. Environmentally conducive, hygienic, and presentable for our students to have their meal. Not only that, lecturers and other staff and stakeholders who come around the hospital, the faculty, as well as the uh, the credit union area also deserve to have a decent place to relax and take other some drinks or food. <laughs> Thank you very much, Registrar. Um, I guess because his didn't say brief remarks, he has gone on and said everything. <laughs> so what else do I say? My honorable regional minister. Pro Vice Chancellor, other members of the management team, my colleague professors and hardworking lecturers and other staff of the university, student leaders, my dear students, members of the press, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are very delighted that this morning we could bring to fruition some of the dreams we've had, many, many good dreams we have for this great university. We made some certain pledges at our investiture, and today the beginning is being um, witnessed. First, we are very, very grateful to the Almighty God, but in person, we are extremely grateful to the regional minister who, by the way, colleagues, the regional minister, as we speak, has in his written the president of the United Nations Assembly. She is in Cape Coast, but the regional minister decided that his deputy should hold this international figure because of his dedication and devotion to UEW. I think we should applaud him for that. So you see how UEW and education delivery are so important to this government, being represented here this morning by the regional minister. So minister, we are very grateful to you for coming to join with us in um, commissioning these two projects as well as breaking ground for the food court. We want to assure you that Sir, within the next month, within the next month, and I mean it, within the next month, we will see the beginning of a four part of faculty buildings. The first one will start within a month, and then the three others will follow. Tomorrow, no, Monday, you will see in the newspapers advert for three more lecture blocks. So there will be four right here, which are going to be built within the next month or two. So I think that is something that is very beautiful and we are very delighted. So we will thank the minister and thank all of you for coming and for your hard, hard work and for holding the fort and bearing with us. UEW is going to places. Thank you very much and God bless you. It is because this university is a university of excellence. This university has added value to and normal of our youth and have prepared them for nation building and the task ahead of us. And so anything in that line, a minister is even privileged to be associated with. And so the briefing that I've had from the registrar that your place of eating by the left side is one that if it were some other management, if it were some other vice chancellor, say I met it, it will be like that, and then I leave. That vice chancellor did not consider it as something he inherited 
and just to protect it and leave. But that it's okay to him to think through with his management, supported by the senior staff and all staff of the university, to have a very special place for students and for all, whether lecturers or visitors or whoever. It's something that is highly commendable. And I commend the Vice Chancellor, I commend the management, and I commend all of you for this giant step. That also is a guarantee towards ensuring that we do not go and take food that might bring problems. Because once this has been built, I'm sure the standard will be higher. And it will guarantee a place where we we'll have good food and good drinks. And that will also add on to the psychology of the student to prepare him for his academic work. Uh, from here, others that we are going to continue to either uh, commission, no groundbreaking again, so commission. And it's only a university with a natural peace of mind that can focus on this. The university doesn't have that peace of mind. It becomes very difficult to think through and to get uh, projects and development. So you can see the dividends of peace. And it's on the basis, on the account of that, that I commend all of you, especially the senior staff, for your solid support behind the Vice Chancellor and behind management. I can only encourage you to continue that way because if you do that, then the image of the university is good all over the place. The father, in the name of the son, in the name of the son, in the name of the son, in the name the 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 now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God who created all things, bless even our responsibility for the things that he has created. Bless and give us the ability to assume and make things faithful and fruitful so that we will have a good service in bringing these dreams and these aspirations to the honor and the faithfulness of our Lord Jesus Christ. I dedicate this place in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit for the good prosperity and the honor and the great things of our institution. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Lord, without you we can do nothing. If there's any thought of goodness and mercy, it is from you. Therefore, we pray that, Lord, as we continue with this, your countenance will shine upon us, your brightness will be seen, and that everything that we do, we'll be careful to give you the, uh, the glory, the honor, and the majesty in the name of the Father, again, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> We unveil this in the name of the Father. This unit in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Of the 
the Son and on the Holy Spirit. We have given us the ability to go about our business, it's not because we are wealthy of it, but because you have promised that where two or three gather in our name, you are in our midst. Lord, we dedicate this activities that we're doing, all the services that we're doing, for your glory, O oh God, and your honor. Even as we do this as a final ministry where we have to make people comfortable, we pray for your anointing and your ordination so that we will know that whatever we do in the name of Jesus, it shall flourish. And we thank you for this institution, Lord, an institution that we claim to have the excellence of your work. Let it be done, let it be shown, let it be demonstrated through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. 